hey, do you have a small business or a cause? Maybe you're an author or you have an upcoming community event and you're not sure how to get the word out about it? I've got a cool idea for you today. How cool is this? Hey everyone, Monique Renee here, a photographer from Silverpaw Studio in Colorado. And some of you may not know that I co-host a local radio show. Yes, it is called Critter Patter and it's at KRFC 88.9 FM Radio Fort Collins in the heart of the music district. So it's this great platform that I was invited to be a co-host. And so every Thursday night, we have a one, a half an hour episode go live that is generally a, a interview. And I've had a chance to interview so many great people. Uh, and it is people who maybe have a unique animal-based business, or they have an event coming up that they think the community would love to know about. Maybe they have specialty knowledge about a particular kind of animal. All kinds of people. Oh, authors are another good one. Maybe they've written a animal-based book. So many cool people I have been able to interview on Critter Patter. And I wanted to give you a little behind the scenes of what it's like at the radio stations. And I was lucky enough today to interview my co-host. And so you're gonna see a little bit of the behind the scenes of us recording that episode for Critter Patter. So why do you care? If you are watching this now, you might be a pet photographer in another city. Why would you, as a visual artist, go to a radio station to talk about your business or your cause or your event or your book? It is such a great way to let the entire community know. Uh, this radio station reaches nearly entire county and it will soon be reaching even beyond that. And so it's a great local, local way to get the word out about whatever it is you would like people to know about or you think they'd be interested in. I'm super lucky that I am on the show called Critter Patter and so it is all about animals. And so you might be able to do a search, find a radio station near you that has a talk show component. I've been on the show as a pet photographer giving tips on the radio on how to take better snapshots of your pets with your phone, right? Uh, so I think it's just a really, really cool way to get your name out there, to get your business out there, your organization, your book, anything. We have had on the show Animal Friends Alliance and that's where you can go adopt dogs and cats. And we've had people on the show from Havoc, Human Animal Bond in Colorado, talking about their animal therapy programs. I've had people come on the show just to talk about their animal-based event that was happening for the community. It's just so incredibly fascinating to meet all the people on here and then they can have a bigger audience. I think it's a super cool way to let the community know what's happening in your business or your cause. And I can really go on and on about this. I'll show you a little bit of the interview I did here with Sue. My co-host owns Bones Du Jour. It's a dog bakery. And because she's usually the person doing the interview, uh, people don't get to know much about her. So I had to have her on the show.
Ready? Yep. All okay. Right. Thank you for listening to KRFC 88.9 FM Radio Fort Collins. Get ready for Critter Patter. It's coming up next. Hi, Monique Renee here, photographer from Silver Paw Studio. I have a fun guest here today that you will all recognize. <laughs> I have none other than my co-host, Sue Carroll. Thanks, Monique. It's Welcome. fun. It's so weird sitting on the side, but I it's fun <laughs> watching you. <laughs> right? You don't have to worry about all the buttons and knobs no. and timing. <laughs> <laughs> the business that Sue has is Bones Du Jour. And I love your tagline. Tell us more about, just like tell us the tagline. So the tagline is treat so good you'll wish you were a dog. Mm -hmm. Actually, along with a lot of my treats came from my customers. Oh. Like people would come up to my booth and go, I wish I was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, I have been to Sue's Bakery. It is quite the production. It's she crazy. does have everything. I mean, it's really cool. I yeah. think it's super cool to go in there. If you go there and you see like little bone shaped treats, she has hand cut every single one yeah. of those with a cookie cutter. Yeah. There is so much love and attention put into all of these treats. Yeah. I, I do sticks in the peanut butter and the buffalo liver, and those are rolled out instead of cut out. So actually, interesting story those actually were developed for Mo monique because she came <laughs> to one of the farmers markets and we were going to photograph dogs and we wanted pictures of the dogs looking into a vegetable basket yeah. like they were getting the vegetables and she said well we need something to for, and i said well i'll just make sticks we'll put peanut butter on the uh -huh. end and so that's how those started. So I cannot believe our time is up I know. already. It's so much fun. Oh, no, it's, it's so much fun. And it's been so great getting to talk to you on the other side of the table. And I hope all the listeners have enjoyed it too. That Because you've been on Critter Patter for a long time. Yeah. And so it's fun to get to know you as a person too. Well, thank you, yeah. Monique. Thanks so much for being on the show. You bet. Woohoo. All right. Thank you for listening to Critter Patter on KRFC 88.9 FM Radio for Collins. All right, uh, this is where the magic happens, and I'll show you. We record into Adobe Audition, and oftentimes I will then use my USB and go home and edit the episode. So I'll take out ums, I'll make it the exact length that it needs to be, and add the bumper music in the beginning of the end. Don't ask me what kind of microphones these are, what kind of computer, I have no idea. It's whatever KRFC has here in their studios. It's very professional. It's really awesome to have all the soundproofing in here. It's really a great space. It's really, really great that this radio station okayed me to repackage the radio shows into my Tells with Tells podcast. The bonus for you on that is that then that is an evergreen piece of content. Radio comes and goes. So those aren't recorded. You generally can't go back and listen to those again. It's, it's live. And my podcast is evergreen. So once I post that episode on my podcast, you can listen to it a week later, a month later, however long I keep it. And so which is really great if you are a business or a cause and you want to say, oh, hey, I was on the radio a couple of weeks ago. Sorry, you missed it. Oh, wait, you can go listen to it on this podcast. Here's the link. People embed that on their websites. They talk about it on their social media. And this amazing interview you did, you have the audio version. Today, I just thought it would be super fun to show you around a local radio station, let you know how being on the radio could help you, your business, your cause, your book, your event, anything that you have planned uh, would be really cool to share with your local audience. Has it been fun? Did you like it? Type in the comments if you've ever been on the radio. Hmm. So thank you for joining me here on the Silver Paw Studio YouTube channel today. It was a little different type of episode, but I really hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I wish you many woofs, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm super geeking out. Take a look at all this. Uh, isn't that fun? If you're techie or geeky or an audiophile, you'd love this. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for joining me.